What's going on everybody? It's Kevin with Custom Night Vision and today we're going to be talking about monoculars. In this video we're going to cover a few options we have available, different applications for these options, their features and accessories. The first option I want to talk about is the gold standard night vision, the PVS-14. Almost everybody's seen one of these. They've been issued throughout the military for you know almost two decades. They're extremely durable. They have a lot of features and they're you know, relatively affordable. Uh, it's kind of considered the entry level night vision device for most people, but I mean, this can do everything that, um, you know, 10, $12,000 binocular night vision systems can do all in this one little package. That's very versatile. Um, this Carson PVS 14 is powered by a CR123 battery. It has a single CR123 battery in it. It has adjustable gain, an onboard IR illuminator, um, and it weighs uh, 355 grams with the Carson glass installed. Uh, through custom night vision, because we have our night vision builder, you can go pick a tube, uh, whatever spec or manufacturer you like, and have it installed in one of these, and then you have the option to upgrade to RPO glass. With the RPO glass, the Carson PVS-14 housing weighs 325 grams, and we actually have an additional nightline battery pack that you can add as an accessory that replaces the Carson uh, power supply. Great option. You know, these have been all over the world. Historically, I would say you can't beat these, but there's another option I want to talk about that that may. This is the Nocturne Tonto. These kind of give up a few features that you get with a Carson PVS-14, but pick up a lot of weight savings. Uh, this housing with Carson glass is 248 grams versus 355. And with RPO glass, it is 220 grams. So it's extremely lightweight. It's very durable. It's 3D printed in the same way that the Katana is 3D printed. So if you're curious about that, we did kind of an in-depth video on um, really all the binocular housings, but we talked a lot about the Katana and how it's made. So go check that out. Kind of the things that set these apart, the Tonto does not have an IR illuminator and it only uses uh, fixed gain style tubes. So you don't have manual gain with the Tonto, you don't have an IR illuminator, <clears throat> but it does use a CR123. Uh, a lot of people use these in conjunction with bridges and such, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. One of the big attractive features of the PVS-14 is, is because it's so readily available, all of the accessories out on the market, so people kind of flock to things that have PVS-14 style optics and take PVS-14 style accessories. The Tonto uses PVS-14 style glass as well, so it can accept all those PVS-14 style accessories as well. One of the applications that got me excited about the Tonto, oh, excuse me, was uh, the DSLR camera adapter. These have been around for a while. These are available through us. This is actually made by Mod Armory. If you get with us, I can talk you through kind of how to adapt these to your whatever camera lens system you're using. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. They have step up or step down rings that adapt whatever lens you're using to this PVS-14 adapter. The PVS-14 uses adapter uses a male 46 millimeter on the uh, outboard side. So if you can figure out what size filter thread you have on your lens, you can probably do that yourself. If you can't figure it out, like I said, get in touch with me. We will uh, help you get all the pieces that you need to adapt your PVS-14 or Tonto to your camera. Again, what got me so excited about the Tonto is its overall lightweight package really made this a viable option for me. Before using a PVS-14 on the end of like a zoom lens like this, even be it a smaller zoom lens, was just kind of too much. But because the Tonto with RPO glass is so light, it's kind of become a more viable option. Uh, here at Custom Night Vision, we do a lot of uh, photo video work, shooting in the dark, demos with night vision. So obviously this is invaluable. We'll be uploading some content with this setup uh, using different lenses, obviously. Keep a lookout on our YouTube channel. We'll be putting some pretty cool videos up using this. In a second, we're going to switch over to another camera with um, one of these hooked up. So, uh, oh, we're going to cut the lights off and then we'll switch it over. So. Welcome to night vision land. What you're seeing now is a good representation of what night vision looks like through a DSLR with the adapter. Um, currently this camera is using a 50 millimeter lens 
It is a Sony A7S with a Tonto RPO glass and a filmless L3 tube. It's a roughly 2400 FOM, low EVI. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of where that particular tube's at in relation to the image that you're seeing. But it is super impressive. Um, obviously, as you pair those with different lenses, you're gonna get a different outcome. But, you know, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, that's freaking cool with video and pictures. Uh, little tip, set your camera to manual focus when you're doing video because a lot of the camera's sensors can't reconcile the back of the uh, phosphor screen through the lens. It kind of confuses them. It took me a while to figure out that if I put the camera in manual focus, I can get a really good image and it's stable. Um, obviously, you're gonna have to adjust the objective like normal, but this is the closest representation that I've found um, for recording through night vision that looks something like what you actually see with your eye. So, yeah, cool option. Through custom night vision, we offer a five-year warranty on any of the PVS 14s that we manufacture in-house or assemble in-house. Carson offers a two-year warranty on their housing, but we will honor a, a full warranty as far as damage for five years on any PVS 14s that come from us. The Tonto, just like the Katana, has a lifetime warranty. So if you manage to break this thing or you have an issue, you can send it back to us or send it to Nocturne and they will get it fixed. Again, they have great customer service, good turnaround time. A lot of people ask about bridging these with thermals or just running you know, a PVS-14 in a thermal or a Tonto in a thermal or just two PVS-14s together. There's several options available for that. Um, one of the most popular options right now is the Pano Bridge. These are a great option, it's affordable, it's a lot more readily available and you know inexpensive than the Wilcox option. But these are great. They come with a, a thermal adapter arm, so if you wanna run a PVS-14 or a Tonto in a thermal, you can do that. Or if you wanna run two Tontos and have the, the panning pano function, you can do that. But something new that's been talked about, but it's actually starting to be produced here very soon is the Tonto powered articulating bridge. When the Tonto was released, it was always kind of understood that eventually they were gonna make a bridge to combine two Tontos and eliminate essentially two power supplies and turn them into one. Well, this year at SHOT Show, they're going to be unveiling the final iteration of that bridge and it should be out sometime shortly after that, I'm told, hopefully first quarter of uh, 2023. So that's something to look out for. I know a lot of people bought Tontos and they've been asking me when it's gonna come out and I tell them I have no idea, but apparently it's coming. So that's something to be excited about. If you're interested in you know, having a, a binocular device that you can break down into two singular monoculars, this is gonna be a really viable option. So check that out. Utilizing these on a helmet, they, they all utilize the same style mounts. So if you have a PVS-14 or a Tonto, you can still use the Wilcox J-Arm. Here I have a Noise Fighter EX-14, um, really similar to the AX-14. These both work with either PVS-14s or Tontos, so there's no special considerations that need to be made there. Um, they both work great. It's really just kind of, you know, what fits your budget and what are you after. The, Wilcox PVS 14 J arm is a little bit heavy, but it does have that tactile positive lock when you switch it from side to side. The Noise Fighter doesn't really have as much of a positive lock, but it is inexpensive, it's very durable, and it essentially accomplishes the same goal. So, in short, we've talked about the different monocular options we have on our website. Um, the accessories associated with them. Yeah, go check out the Night Vision Builder, configure one the way you think you might want it, and let us know if you have any questions. As always, hit up um, all of our social medias or call us or email. We uh, try to respond in a timely fashion. Thanks, have a great day.